Okay, question six on the test. We've now got we've now got to write these five fractions in the order of size slightly the smallest. So we need our fractions, decimals, and percentages skills here. So we need to spot. Well, it's hard to when there are fractions. It's hard to compare when uh, the numerators and denominators are different. Well, when the denominators are different. So we can either convert all of these to have a common denominator, and you can actually convert them all to a common denominator of 24. Actually, I quite like to convert them all to percentages or to decimals, in fact. And I think that makes our life a little bit easier. So 3 quarters, we should know, is 0 0.75. With a calculator, it's really easy. You just do 3 divided by 4. 3 over 4 is 3 divided by 4. Half is 0 0.5. 3 eighths comes out as 0 0.375, using our calculator just 3 divided by 8. 2 thirds comes out as 0 0.6. Recurring, it's important to include that dot above the 6. And 1 sixth comes out as 0 0.16. Recurring, again, important we have the dot above the 6. So now seeing that, we can see which one is clearly um, the smallest. We can see that 1 sixth is the smallest, and I'm rewriting the original number back in the answer. And then you can see the next one is 3 eighths. So add that to our list. 3 eighths. Then you can see that it's a half. Add that to our list. And I'm just crossing off so I know I double count. Or don't make a silly mistake. Then it's 0 0.6 recurring or in fraction form. 2 thirds. And then the final one obviously must be 3 quarters. Okay, second part, part B, ask us something similar actually. It says write these numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest number. So, same thing, except you've now got a combination of fractions, decimals, and percentages. So I would convert them all to the same thing. I think decimals or percentages are easier. So I'm going to convert 65% to 0.65. 3 quarters we know from above is 0 0.75. 0 0.72 is 0 0.72. 2 thirds is 0.5. 6 recurring, and 3 fifths is 0 0.6 without recurring. Of course, then they're two different fractions. One has 6s that carry on forever after it, 0 0.6 has 0s that carry on forever after it, but we don't write 0s. Now we're going to start the smallest, so we can see that original number 3 fifths is the smallest, followed by 65%, 0 0.65, followed by 2 thirds, Original all. Oh, let's make a correction. 65 balls. And now we've got a wrong pen as well. Nightmare. So 65% is the original number. Then we've got 0 0.72 in original form. And then we've got 3 quarters is the largest. And there we go. I think that's only two easy marks, especially if you've got a calculator. If not, you should be able to work those out even without calculator.